Is family game night a thing of the past? Or are you looking for ways to bring your family together with some new games? Or, and let's just be honest here, are you looking for something to keep your kids occupied that doesn't have a screen attached? 3D printing? To the rescue! I know, I know, 3D printing can't solve everything, but hey, why not get your kids and your other family members in on the fun? One of the most useful aspects of 3D printing is customization, so find some cool games and go for it. There are literally thousands of prints out there that are add-ons for all sorts of games. Dice trays and towers seem to be the biggest gaming print right now, and for good reason. Some of those towers are epic. Then there are all the add-ons for other games like Settlers of Catan, one of my favorites, boxes for card games like Uno, Phase 10, and the personal favorite of our family, Rage. Not to mention the fact you can make replacement parts and portable versions for just about anything out there. But those are games you already have. What about printing a game you've never even heard of? Or printing a variation of an existing game? There are just so many games you can print out there. And if you ever thought it could be 3D printed, somebody probably already made it. Checkers, Battleship, Mancala, Chinese Checkers, Mahjong, Dominoes, and a whole lot more. Not to mention all those crazy variations. For instance, I think it's probably safe to say we've all either played chess or at least we know about it. It's one of the oldest strategy games around. 3D printing your own chess set just seems natural. There are plenty of sets that look pretty normal and would really look nice on your desk, but then there's some crazy stuff out there. Like this chess set with braille embedded on the pieces. I'm assuming the rule about touching and letting go of the pieces, that doesn't really apply for this set. And this type of graphic set's perfect for beginners to remember what each piece is called. I found this dragon set on the Patreon page of KE Creations 3D. The pieces look incredible in these inland clay rainbow and matte rainbow finishes. And then there's all the variation, the different sets based on things like Stargate, Pokemon, Winnie the Pooh, Minecraft, Rockets, and yes, there's even a set with The Rock himself. Probably one of the simplest games out there is the classic Tic-Tac-Toe, but not this version. Tic-Tac Top adds a twist by allowing you to cover up your opponent's piece with one of your own pieces. Only, since they're all different sizes, be careful not to use your big pieces too soon. Winner is the one that gets three in a row, naturally. And by the way, all the links to these games and variations, they're going to be in the description below, along with info on staying in touch with me here and in the socials. Now, Tetris is a pretty big game on our mobile devices, but what about a game that uses a similar idea on a balance board. I printed this one out at a regular size and it plays pretty good, but I definitely recommend making it bigger. I'm thinking about 200% would be a great size. But then I saw this other version, aptly named Balance Spill It, and the normal size is just right. It's really sort of a combination of Tetris and Jenga with a balance twist. And as the case with most games with small pieces, I'm glad I can print out new ones when, you know, a few get lost or left behind somewhere. If you like playing Angry Birds or just like flinging things around the room trying to knock over targets, well, this game's for you. It's called Siege, and that's spelled S-E-E-J. There's a number of variations out there, but this 2015 version of Siege I think is pretty cool. Basically, you and your opponent set up your flags behind your walls for protection, and then your catapults try to take them down. First one to knock over a flag wins. Everything's 3D printed except the rubber bands. Tally ho! Tally ho, lads! Another balance game I thought was absolutely incredible is this one found on Prusa's Printables website. It kind of pays homage to Prusa's founder, but man, people really like this game. There's so many variations and add-ons that I finally just had to pick a few and stick to it. The original had a balance arm attached to it, make it kind of difficult to put in the box, but this other version of just the storage box itself does a much better job of keeping everything separate. The top has a little connector that just fits into the base. And if you want more, there's yet another version that allows you to screw it in and even has latches to hold the lid in place for storage. That's just five games that you can 3D print, but there's so many more out there. Leave a comment with your favorites so we can all try them out. And please help us out here by liking and subscribing to the channel. And remember, have fun. It's what we do here in the lab as we learn, create, and amaze.